these are two temperature probes in my fermentation fridge and I've got a couple of brews on the go at the moment I like to run mine at 19 degrees so I bought one of the little inkbird temperature uh, temperature and cooling thingy controller now that was all right and then because I'm going to put another fridge in what I thought I'd do was get another one so I've put them side by side and there's ever so slight difference in their readings initial thoughts <laughs> this is the super new Wi-Fi version that's the only visible difference kind of on the front and this is the standard version this is 25 quid that's 45 quid uh, various discounts are available and the like now I'm gonna let this because I've just had the door open I'm gonna let this settle for a couple of minutes and see what exactly the temperature differential is between them so I can calibrate them I've been using this one so I need to adjust this one to calibrate to the same as this one I'm not really too bothered actually about the accuracy that it's measuring as long as this one continues to keep the fridge at the same temperature this one was at if that makes sense uh, fermentation likes to have steady temperatures now this is the one that's currently the new one is currently going down 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 through the hole in the side bump there and this one is going across and then through the door that's the only difference the probes are next to each other so I'm going to let this stabilize and we'll see what the difference is okay that's st stabilized now and the calibration on both is different now 17.6 18.4 is 0.8 of a degree put that in another context if I had set the temperatures to be 18 degrees this would be down to 17.2 now anything below 18 degrees can tend to fuck around with the yeast a little bit so it's important now I think this first one was calibrated pretty close so I now need to calibrate this to this one anyway because I don't want the difference in the fridge I talk for a second about one of the useful features about the ink bird or a couple of useful features one is you can calibrate them fairly easily the second is they have a, a feature in here where you can set the amount of temperature differential before either the heater kicks in or the cooler kicks in so sorry about this this is a whiteboard on the back at door I, I have whiteboards everywhere now I like mine to be at 19 degrees let's just suppose that I'd set the temperature differential to be one degree either side okay and then down here I'll set the temperature differential to be two degrees either side and oh either, hang on this is whoops where we actually want our temperature to be now I need a different pen oh, a black. oh hang on this is rubbish in it sorry about this huh that's right <sighs> bloody hell by the way that's one of the ones I'm brewing at the moment uh, so let's have a look one degree differential what we would have is if the temperature rose all right this is where sorry the fridge kicks in but the temperature might still rise a little bit before the fridge really manages to kick in but once the fridge does kick in it will bring it down quite quickly to our target temperature which is there however think about this as things work the fridge will carry on cooling and it might hit that one degree the other side in which case the heater kicks in and then starts heating it up again 
by the time it gets to here it, the ink bird will turn the heater off but the heater will carry on heating until it perhaps gets to here now obviously what you're going to get then is a kind of swing the concern is working out the optimum temperature differential between the heater and kick, uh, cooler kicking in let's have a look at two degrees now at two degrees if you wait for two degrees by the time it gets to here boof you're up at 21 degrees the, the cooler kicks in and it is going to take a longer time to kick in so it's going to get colder so it hits here and then stops but it's still going to get colder now that's that's a part of a concern because it could get like very cold down here same thing happens though if it gets cold and the heater kicks in it's two degrees here that heater then is going to kick in it's only a little 45 watt heater by the time it gets to here that heater is going to be stonkingly hot and it's going to take ages to cool down so it could now i hope you understand here that the the issues are four degree between here and here we have a four degree temperature shift that's a lot i've set mine this here at oops sorry 0.7 before the uh, heater kicks in and at the other end 0.3 that seems to be working okay and i'm not getting those massive shifts of temperature however you're always still i don't know you know i could say if i set this at 0.3 the heater will be on less time at 0.7 the heat is on more time but at 0.3 the heater will be on less time but am i going to get more bounces backwards and forwards so that's what i'm currently playing with back to the ink birds still got 0.7 differential what i'm going to do is match this one to this one and then i'm just going to talk about the prices now they're synced through adjusting this by 0.7 i think it took uh, to drop it to the same temperature as that now i can at some point get another high uh, accuracy thermometer inside and uh, and check it that way let's just talk very briefly or let me just talk very briefly about the price this is the inkbird without wi-fi this is the inkbird with wi-fi um, this was 25 quid these i think are about 45 quid is it worth the extra 20 quid well let's look at it another way i've got a discount on this it's normally 30 quid that makes the difference slightly more bearable at 15 pounds however and I'm not going to put a link to it because it'll probably be out of date by the time you click it. But it's worth searching around. There's a guy, Dude Brews, I think it was. Um, I'll put a link to his channel anyway. In fact, I might even put a link to the video where he has um, uh, reviewed the Inkbird Wi-Fi. There's a 25% discount code from Amazon. That made this 35 quid. 35 quid against 30 quid standard price too bloody right buy it another reason i would buy this i'll be totally honest is because i'm lazy setting it pressing holding this fannying about with these sod that i want to sit back have a beer and do it all from the comfort of my reclining armchair now that piece of cake with a wi-fi one is it a novelty yes of course it's a novelty is it necessary no of course it's not necessary but it's nice now i ought to do the full disclosure thing i bought both of these i didn't get sent one for free i'm not being paid to promote it i haven't had any other incentive other than i want my brews to be banging so it's worth for me 35 quid 
And I've uh, so and I was worried about the calibration on this one, not this one anyway. But it's tough. Uh, it's worth it's worth that for me to have that peace of mind. So yeah, if you don't want to spend the extra money, get the normal Inkbird without the Wi-Fi. If you can find it at twenty-five quid, it's a bloody bargain. At thirty quid, it's great for peace of mind. If you can get the deal on this one, on the Wi-Fi one. Yes, get it. There's a lot of other reviews. There's a lot of other um, people who've done a review of the actual software interface, the app on the phone. I ain't gonna bother, right? Do this. I wanted just to look at the two together and actually look at the temperature differential because I don't know if anybody else has actually done anything like that, but I thought it'd be useful. I hope you have found this useful, brewers. Um, I am no expert, and neither am I a video maker, but apparently if I say, please click like, if you like it uh, and subscribe to my channel and then I get more people watching the channel and uh, it just proves to me that there are a lot of people who like me have have very um, <laughs> very little life and watch videos on YouTube too much but I hope you found this useful this is the Inkbird Wi-Fi and non-fi non oh, bollocks I'm gonna have a drink <laughs>